Hello everybody and welcome to this thing of a video. I'm not showing my face right now even though I've shown it before because I just don't feel like it. It's been a long day for me. I was asked to do this video a while back in January. D20 asked when I was first showing off the first Koopalings I got that I should do a plush collection video, so you know what? I'll do it now. Today I'll be showing off the Mario plushes that I own, the plushes that I technically don't own, and some miscellaneous characters. But without any further ado, let's begin. Also, I'm not gonna bother trying to count these while I'm filming this, so I'm just gonna leave that task up to editor me. But anyways, let's start with the most obvious two, being a Mario Plus channel and all. Mario and Luigi. These are the Mario and Luigi plushes that I use on my channel. And I'll pull up Mario wants to say something. Subscribe to the channel, please! Okay, yes, thank you, Mario. That, that's enough from you. Oh, but you should do it. But anyways, if you are a veteran on my channel, you would know that that is not the Luigi plush we used at first. The Luigi plush we used at first was... This guy. These Mario and Luigi are the all-star plushes, but I don't even know what this is. It is fairly low quality and uh, pretty obviously a bootleg. And it's not even mine. This is actually my brother's, and I was borrowing it from him until I got my own. So thankfully, I don't have to use this behemoth anymore. Up next is actually the first Mario plush that I ever got, and it should be pretty obvious if you see my channel logo, but here he is, Toad. And as long as we're here, Captain Toad and Toadette. This Captain Toad plush is actually the first character duplicate or character variant that I got, Luigi not counting. And just in case you're wondering, yes, I have kept all the tags, all kept in this box. Well, as long as I've done Toadette, I might as well go ahead and do the rest of the girl characters here. We have Peach, Daisy, and hold your hats for this one, Rosalina. Yes, I have a Rosalina plush. It was actually one of the earliest plushes I got just because I wanted it. I think she was the fourth plush I got. I got Toad, Mario, Peach, and then Rosalina. I, I just wanted her because I'm a big Mario Galaxy fan, and also, speaking of Mario Galaxy, I will eventually be doing a, Mar a little mini Mario Galaxy series, but that's not going to be until, like, maybe the latter half of 2025. I'm still not sure, so expect to see Rosalina eventually, but not immediately. Next, because I don't know where else in the video to put them, we have Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, and Baby Peach. I guess these would technically count as the same characters as plushes I've already had, so I guess that would make Captain Toad not the first. But the babies were kind of almost treated as separate characters, even though they are technically the same characters, and they are still technically the same characters in my canon, unlike other plush channels that like use them as their children, because no, they're, they're baby selves. But uh, yeah, that's that. And important to Baby Mario and Baby Luigi's lives, Hashtag segue. We have Yoshi, or more specifically, Green Yoshi, to which we have variants Light Blue and Red. Okay, first off, the Light Blue one is not mine. The Green one is, but the Light Blue one is again owned by my brother, the same brother that owns Monstrosity Luigi over here. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't use him a lot, but I do use him sometimes, and, uh, he's fine. 
and he is a light blue Yoshi. Unlike this guy, who, can we even really call him a Yoshi? I mean, he's not even like a bootleg Yoshi plush, he was just a random dinosaur plush that in the first episode I was like, yeah, I can pass this off as a Yoshi. But uh, I also like made up the lore that he is like a special Yoshi that's unique from the rest of the Yoshis and that he was picked on for that, but has made a life for himself now, and it's for the, that reason that I am not going to replace him with like an actual Red Yoshi plush, because this one is special and I kind of like his the uniqueness, so I am absolutely aware that that is not a Yoshi plush, but I can pass it off as one still, and it's still nice to have, and it, it's special to the channel. But now that we've done these, we're on to the next section, the Mario Baddies. First up, we've got one that in one way counts, in another way does not. Bowser Jr. A bad guy in the Mario series, but not quite a bad guy in my channel. Then we have Bowser and Kamek. Bowser is also not mine, and I am not sure if it's official or not. This one also belongs to my brother. I do plan on replacing it with an all-star Bowser of my own one day, but it's not been on the priority list. So, yeah. And if you've watched my collab with G20 Dwin, or you've been picking up on the clues before then, you will know that Kamek is actually the main antagonist of the channel. So that's fun. And then we've got Bowser's minions, which include Goomba, Koopa Troopa, bob -omb, and Boo. I'm also planning on buying a Dry Bones plush, which I will buy pretty soon. In fact, I might have bought it by the time this video goes out. But yeah, that'll be in the collection soon. Okay, quick update. Turns out I was absolutely correct, because I have this Dry Bones plush now, and he's the All-Star version too. Oh, and of course, we can't forget Chain Chomp, or as this one specifically is called, Champ, being used as Bowser Jr.'s pet. Oh, and also, we can't forget the mildly bad Wario and Waluigi. Alright, now on to the last seven Mario characters I own. I am, of course, talking about the Koopalings. We have Morton, Wendy, Larry, Iggy, Lemmy, Roy, and Ludwig. I know for 100% fact that Wendy is the official All-Star plush. I am fairly certain that Roy is the Sine Super Mario set. As for the others, they range from I'm not sure to Morton, which I'm pretty sure is fake. But it doesn't necessarily matter that they aren't official if they are all I can really find for a price that I'm willing to pay. But at least Wendy is most definitely official. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you are a Koopaling fan, then look forward to Season 3, aka 2024. Next up, we have the miscellaneous characters. These are characters that aren't Mario characters, but are still characters that are used generally often, often enough on my channel. Starting off with the Sonic characters, first up we have Amy Rose, Miles Tails Prower, and of course the Hedgehog himself, Sonic the Hedgehog. Also, not technically owned by me. I own Amy and Tails, but I don't own Sonic. My brother owns Sonic. I want a Sonic plush. I'm a Sonic fan who doesn't have a Sonic plush. I have all these Mario plushes, but I don't have a Sonic plush. But priorities, it, it can wait. But I do plan on getting my own Sonic plush to replace this in the future. 
just not yet. And next up, we have a character that is a pseudo Mario character esque. It's halfway between a Mario character and an original character. It's Shroffle, donning the costume that my dad helped me make, and I love it. This is, of course, a spoof of Fawful from the Mario and Luigi series. And if you don't know who Fawful is, I have Fury! Also forgot to show off this hammer that my dad also helped me make. It's Amy Rose's hammer, and that's a neat little prop. And last up, we have three characters that don't have to do with gaming at all, and are somewhat original. We have Stan, the con artist. Nala, the talk show host of Toad's favorite show, Life Talks with Nala. And last but not least, behold, Alex Wolf. And there you go, we have all the channel relevant plushes that I currently own or am borrowing. I'm really glad I have this collection. It means a lot to me, and so does this channel. We've got so much more planned for this channel, and this isn't the end. We're going to be getting more plushes than just this, like off the top of my head. I still need to get, like, Toadsworth and that Dry Bones plush I was talking about, and more that I won't talk about yet. But yeah, this has been my plush collection of 2024, except I will be getting more during 2024, but whatever. You get it. Also, editor me, give the plush count. Oh, and I keep forgetting something. Lastly, there are a few characters that I would have put here. They used to be, like, channel characters, but since May, they have left. I am talking about Leonardo, Donatello, Spot, Socks, and Perry. They were early on when I didn't have a lot of Mario characters, and... I figured this was enough characters, and since they aren't really expected to show up on the channel anymore, uh, except maybe in a rare cameo, but otherwise they're not gonna really show up anymore, I didn't feel it was necessary to put them in the collection, not to mention I only actually own a Socks and Perry. But yeah, this is the current collection, and I hope you have enjoyed. Please give a like on this video and comment what your favorite plush in this collection is, and I will see you later.